Hi students, in last class we completed the exercise 3.2. Now we will move to the exercise 3.3. Before going to inside of the exercise, we will see the first introduction about the parallelogram. Here. This is the parallelogram. In parallelogram, we have some, uh, some uh, rules. Okay, see here A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Means opposite sides are equal. That means A, B equal to D, C as well as A, D equal to B, C. That means A, B equal to D, C. A D equal to B C. Okay, these two properties. Okay, next one is opposite angles are equal. That means A equal to C, B equal to D. Angle A equal to angle C, angle B equal to angle D. As well as diagonal bisect each other. Here A C and D B is the diagonal. Diagonal bisect each other. That means these two sides will be the uh, the two uh, diagonals is meeting at what point? You know. That the opposite size uh, size will be equal. That is O A equal to O C as well as O B equal to O D. O A equal to O C as well as O B equal to O D. Okay. Next one is adjacent angles are supplementary. Supplementary means we will know if you add the two angle, you will get 180 degree. That means adjacent angle means A and D. If you add A and D, you will get 180 degree as well as B and C, you will get 180 degree. Angle A plus Angle C equal to 180 degree as well as angle B here angle D angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degree this um, in this exercise we are going to apply in this properties okay now we will move to the exercise sum. Exercise 3.3 first sum given a parallelogram A B C D A B C D is a parallelogram they give complete each statement along with the definition or property used okay we want to complete this dash as well as we want to tell which property we are using here see here A D equal to A D equal to B C by opposite sides are equal so here B C opposite sides are equal okay second one b d c b d c b this is equal to d a b this is opposite angles are equal so angle d a b here opposite angles are are equal okay next one o c equal to o c equal to o a by Diagonal bisect each other. Each other. Okay. Next one. Angle DAB. DAB. So this angle plus CA, CDA. This two angle. If you add this two angle, what will you get? 180 degree. But adjacent angles are sublimentary. Adjacent angles are angles are supplementary supplementary okay now we will move to the next sum next sum see here consider the following parallelograms find the values of the unknown x y z they are giving the parallelogram we want to find out x y z okay see here how we are the angles value i will tell in the figure afterwards i will write see here and we itself we know opposite angles are equal therefore y equal to 100 degree next see here y plus z equal to 180 degree here 100 means here it will come 80 degree as well as here also opposite angles are equal so here also 80 degree will come okay now i am going to write that only see here opposite angles are equal therefore y equal to 100 degree again hmm, adjacent angles are supplementary that means if you add y plus z angle y plus angle z equal to 180 degree we know y equal to 100 so z equal to 180 here 100 plus 180 so we need z mean z equal to 180 degree minus 100 that is 80 degree okay again we are going to use the opposite angles are equal opposite angles are equal therefore x equal to z 
x equal to z. So, x equal to z value 80 degree. Therefore, x equal to 80, y equal to 100 as well as z equal to 80 degree. Now, we will move to the next sum. Now, second Roman, second subdivision. Here also you want to find out x, y, z. Okay. First time, see here 50 and x. If this is this two angle is adjacent angle. So, if we add this two angle, we want to get 180 degree. So, I am going to write adjacent angles are supplementary. Okay. Therefore, 50 degree plus x equal to 180 degree we x alone so x equal to 180 degree minus 50 that is x equal to 130 degree okay now y opposite uh, here we find out 130 degree we shall we know opposite angles are equal so y equal to 130 opposite angles are equal therefore y equal to x so y equal to 130 degree now z for find outing z we need this value so i am taking this as a a see here this two angles are opposite this two will be equal so from uh, for this sub uh, subtitle, uh, subtitle only so therefore um, a equal to 50 degree now here you have to see if you add this two angle you want to get 180 degree linear path okay linear pair angle a plus z equal to 180 degree a is 50 degree so 50 degree plus z equal to 180 degree so z equal to 180 degree minus 50 so if you subtract you will get 130 degree z equal to 130 degree okay we find out x y z okay next we will move to the third subdivision third subdivision how you want to find out i will tell you the here these two angles are vertically opposite angle here 90 means here also 90 so x equal to 90 okay consider this triangle angle sum of triangle is 180 degree uh, so 90 plus 30 plus y equal to 180 degree from that you will find out y then opposite angles are equal just consider this is two parallel line this is transversal mean opposite interior angles are equal so these two angles will be equal rs uh, the, if you consider this is a parallelogram this two will be a opposite angle so y equal to z from this we can find out x y z okay first i am going to write x uh, mm, mm, vertically opposite angles are equal therefore x equal to 90 degree next consider the triangle triangle angle sum of triangle equal to 180 degree angle sum means 90 plus 30 plus y so 90 degree plus 30 degree plus y equal to 180 we need y alone if you add 90 plus 30 means 120 plus y equal to 180 we need y so y i keep here if it is moving this side means minus 120 if you subtract you will get 60 i equal to 60 okay now next i told opposite angles are equal so y equal to z angles are equal therefore z equal to y it is 60 degree z is a 60 degree now we will move to the fourth subdivision fourth subdivision opposite angles are equal so y equal to 180 angles are equal therefore y equal to 80 degree next see this two angle so this is 80 degree we find out this two is supplementary so adjacent angles are supplementary therefore x uh, x plus y x plus y equal to 180 degree we know y equal to 80 degree if we sub 
I am going to substitute here. So, x equal to 180 degree minus 80 degree that is 100. Okay, x equal to 100. Next one. Next is see here z we want to find out. For find out in the z we want to know this angle. This one I take this here A. And uh, see here, here I we this x is 100 degree. So, A also 100 degree by opposite angle. Then you have to find out by this fully 180 degree. This is 100 means here 80 degree. The steps you have to write that is the homework for you. Okay. Now I am going to move. I am moving to the fifth uh, sub panel. Fifth sub -panel. Fifth sum, see here, here also y, x, y, z only, opposite angles are equal. So, here y also, 120, 104, okay. Opposite angles are equal, therefore, y equal to 112 degree, okay. This one completed. Next to see here, this uh, consider this triangle. Angle sum of triangle is 180 by that I am going to find out the x value. Angle sum of triangle equal to 180 degree. That means 112 plus 40 plus x equal to 180 degree. If you add this two, you will get 152 degree plus x equal to 180 degree so x equal to 180 degree minus 152 I am subtracting here 8 2 ok so x equal to 28 degree we find out the x value x equal to 28 degree opposite angles are equal so x equal to z so x or y z also 28 degree see here Opposite angles are equal. Therefore, z equal to x. We know x equal to 28 degree. Therefore, z also 28 degree. x, y, z. Okay. Now, we will move to the next sum. Third sum. Can a quadrilateral A, B, C, D be a parallelogram if okay, they are giving some conditions for if the if it is parallelogram means that uh, Properties wants to statistics. So, you see here, I am going to explain this sum as here uh, in Tamil. Then only you can understand the properties. Okay. B plus D. D plus B equal to 180 degrees. See here. B and D is opposite. Okay. Opposite angles will be equal. That we know. It will be possible. If, uh, suppose, if B is 90 degree and D is 90 degree and add to 180 degree. Vara possible. Okay. But, we can add 180 degree and 90 degree. So, possible but no need. But no need because opposite angles are equal. Either one the suppose both will be ninety degree means. It will possible. Okay. Next one. A B equal to D C equal to eighty. A B D C. Opposite angle, opposite sides are equal. So it is proved. Next A D equal to four centimeter. B C equal to four. A D equal to four centimeter. B C equal to four point four. So it will not be happen because this two sides will be equal. This two sides also wants to be equal. Okay. Mm, so in parallelogram opposites sides are equal but here AD is not equal to BC ok next is next is see here angle A equal to 70 angle C equal to 65 see the figure Angle A equal to 70, this one 70, this one 65 they gave. But we know the bo both angles wants to be same. But so therefore this is also not a parallelogram. So here you have to write opposite angles are equal. But here 
angle A is not equal to angle C. Okay. Next one. That's all. The sum is over. Next, fourth sum. Fourth sum. Draw a rough figure of a quadrilater that is not a parallelogram. One quadrilater is not a parallelogram, but has exactly two opposite angles of equal measure. And the button is equal to the opposite angles of equal measure. So, this is the, the figure is kite. In kite only, these two angles will be equal. So, now this is kite. Okay, that's all there. The class is over. We will continue in the next class. Thank you, dears.